Welcome to episode 7 of Light Reports. It's really amazing that this series is still going through and strong every single week. I'm being consistent. I'm trying to make this series grow to a larger extent, trying to reach more audiences. And I will continue as long as I can. The lighting is nice today. It's, it's great lighting. Great lighting today. So the first story... Oh, by the way, thanks again for Super Saiyan Ichigo 720 for that intro. It's really manly, and he also enjoys it, because he created it. All right, the first story comes from Anime News Network's Japan's animation DVD ranking March 23rd to 29th. Usually, I don't really care about this, but this does support a lot of series, and DVD rankings in Japan is a really great thing, which shows which series are selling, which are not, and that just makes the animation studios decide, well, should we continue the series? So we continue releasing DVDs and stuff like that. Um, overall, never seen one of these lists before, so I'm going to be really surprised. Um, let me see how many are there. There's 30, which I'm not doing the top 30 because that's going to take too much time. And these like, reports have been really long, which a lot of people enjoy because somebody did tell me they wake up in the morning and they're like, oh, I just wake up. Boom, light reports, watch, light reports, that's what I like doing, so this might be a shorter one for you, I'm sorry. I just don't, the rendering and editing for this takes quite a while, I'm not gonna lie. Number 10 on the list is Hakyu Second Season Volume 5 DVD. Uh, that just reminded me that I actually got to finish Hakyu, uh, I believe I was on episode 4 of season 2. And usually when I drop, I don't drop series, Some a lot of series, I don't drop them. I usually stop watching them and then come back to them at a later time, meaning that I just wait for it to finish. Sometimes, that's what happens. That's why I don't review a lot of new anime, because I wait for them to finish. Or I watch the first two episodes and be like, I just want to see the rest when it's done. So, I'm sorry about that. Um, when all these animes I'm reviewing, the new ones, if I'm reviewing uh, Boku, Jojo, yeah, Boku and Jojo, when those are done completely, then... Um, I would definitely review some other hype series. Number nine on the um, I'm not sur uh, by the way I'm not surprised Haikyu is number ten because Haikyu is really a really great volleyball anime. Number nine is Nor Nine, <laughs> Volume Three. Number nine is Nor Nine. Like they did this on purpose. Like really. Um, never watched the series. Maybe I'll give it a try sometime. I don't know what is it about. Um, let me actually click on it to see what it says. The era where great powers of the world have all ventured overseas. Revolution and liberalism spread all over the world. Right when souls and earth are ill, a glowing sphere appeared in the sky and removed the borders of the world. Three girls and nine young men depart together with a flying, sh flying ship. I think I did see the first two episodes of this series, and I didn't really enjoy it. Oh, well. Hey, at least it's doing good in Japan. Number eight is Transformers Armada DVD set. Is this an anime of Transformers, or just... Uh, I don't really know. I don't watch Transformers. This looks like the old school Transformers, based on the picture. Number seven on the list is... Anime, Diabolic, Lovers, More Blood. This sounds like something Phoenix Reviews would enjoy. It sounds like some Ichi thing. Next on the list, number 6, Star Mew, Volume 6. Star sounds like Star Me from freaking Pokemon. I don't really know. Number 5 on the list, One Punch Man 6. I guess, I don't know why they mean 6. <laughs> Yo, this better not be One Punch Man. Episode 6. Number five in the DVD set. Only episode six. That'd be hilarious. Uh, I think I'm mistaken. It's not episode six. Number four. Still going strong. Even though I think it ended or close to ending. Gintama 11. Limited complete pressing. Oh my goodness. Limit, limited. That's how they get you. Number three is Doku UC Classmates complete. What the hell is this? Is this Assassination Classroom? Let me see. No, it's not. It's some other new series. It's a romance series. Wow. Number two. Girls under... Girls under... Panzer their, their film. I never heard of these series before. Number one is Mr. Usumatsu. Fifth Matsu. Um, so that's it for the list. What did I think? 
bunch of these series I didn't know what the hell they are. A lot of them are romance or new anime I haven't checked out yet. So I'll probably check them out since they're doing really good in Japan. But that doesn't mean I will like them because just because something is doing good in Japan or something does not mean somebody will enjoy it um, here. Next is Dragon Ball Fusions Get Second Trailer Release Day from Sand Island. This article is... The Nintendo 3DS exclusive RPG Dragon Ball game, Dragon Ball Fusions, gets its second trailer. It featured over four minutes of promotional footage related to the game. In Dragon Ball Fusions, you create your own character and select the race and gender of your character. Human, male or female, Saiyan, male or female, alien, male or female. First of all, what the hell is alien? An alien race in Dragon There's so many aliens in freaking Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball universe. You say alien, that's it. Like, what type of alien? Um, Spirit Warrior, male or female. What is a Spirit Warrior? We got Yu Yu Hakusho. We got a crossover over here. I am a Spirit Warrior. <laughs> like, come on. I forgot the name of his attack with, with his fingers. Spirit Gun. Like, freaking. You're gonna pick Spirit Warrior. Spirit Gun instead of Spirit Bomb. Alright, next. Um. And the making single gender. Oh yeah, because they're single gender. Afterwards, you and an in-game friend slash rival X Chan run the Eternal Dragon Single Wish to bring together the world's strongest for the ultimate tournament. Sharon transports the two of you through time and space to a world never seen before. So I'm just wondering, why will Broly agree to go to this tournament if he just want to kill Kakarot? Um, I actually saw this trailer already. Um... I just wanted to read a little bit from Sand Island, so I have another article. And I gotta say, the trailer looks really interesting. We got freaking Goku with Hercule. It's a bunch of fusions, fusions. And there was a fusion with Pan and like four other Saints. And that fusion looks cool, like purple hair on one side and black hair. And overall, um, I'm gonna use this. Oh crap. <laughs> I said I was gonna use this as a thumbnail. This is just a video. I gotta take a screenshot later. Um, yeah. It looks really nice. It looks a really interesting game for 3DS, which I'm not gonna get because I don't have a 3DS. And lately, I haven't been really playing video games that much anyway. So, um, if you hype for this Dragon Ball Soup, I said Soup, Dragon Ball Fusions game, then you could get it for your 3DS. If you don't have the 3DS and you really want this game, then you should get a 3DS. And. That's all I have to say on that. Next article is from Anime News Network. Funimation's Full Metal Alchemist rights expire on July 34th. So, I'm really intrigued. What does this mean? Does this mean that they lose... Alright, they lose the rights on Full Metal Alchemist, right? So, this means they can't sell no more Blu-rays or anything, which is really couldn't be sad. I really need to get a Full Metal Alchemist Blu-ray set because I, I really love that series. See, Funimation Entertainment confirmed in an ad on Monday that its home video and streaming rights for the 2003 Film Metal Alchemist series will expire on July 31st. Wait, wait, wait. So, you cannot stream it no more and no more video rights. That's bad if people are subscribed to the Funimation site and they want to see Full Metal Alchemist. Funimation will cease streaming the series and will no longer reprint the home video's release of the anime, including its collector's edition. You know this means that now that all those Full Metal Alchemist DVD sets and stuff are going to become kind of rare or a lot of people will want them now. Full Metal, Funimation's home video and streaming rights of the 2000, for the 2009 Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood series, the Full Metal Alchemist the movie The Conqueror of Shambhala, Film expired on March 31st. This is really sad to hear. They let the series go. Like the later Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood series, the 2003 series is based on Hiromu, Hiromu Arakawa's original manga, though the later, the latter, later, whatever, has an original ending due to the manga. Alright, um, due to the manga. Unfinished at the time of the animation, anime's production, the anime aired on Adult Swim in the U.S. in 2004 and YTV in Canada in 2006. Funimation released series and DVD singles from 2005 to 2013 and recently re-released the series with a limited collector's edition on Blu-ray this last September. So, it's kind of sad to see that. That's it for Full Metal Alchemist and Funimation. Their contract is over. Funimation is probably like, 
I am we're done with this just cause it's not making us more enough revenue anymore. Like yes, it's a really classic. This is I already consider this series a classic. Um, a lot of anime series that I watch, they they will be known as classics. Um, later on in the future, but right now they're really amazing masterpieces, and it's kind of sad to think that they're letting this go. But uh, if it's not, it's all about the money. If it's not making them good money anymore, then that's the reason why. So yeah, this was the episode of Light Reports. Um, yeah, really good. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna change the overlay again for the video or not, and if I do. <sighs> <laughs> it's a lot of work. That's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed this and remember to shadow clone Jutsu out of here and have a great day. Peace.